What is going on you guys? This is Ricky back with Express Eraser and today I got a quick video where I'm basically going to go ahead and talk about why I chose this motorcycle out of all the other motorcycles um, available as your first bike. So as you guys know, this is my first bike. I had it for almost three years now and put about 13,000 miles on it. It's been an absolute blast. And yeah, without further ado, uh, let's take it for a spin. I just took some pictures of this motorcycle, which if you're not already, what are you doing? Go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I post all the high quality photos of this beautiful and or handsome, whatever you want to call it, motorcycle. Um, and yeah, uh, I forgot to mention this is a Royal Enfield Continental GT 650. It comes in obviously a 650cc motor. Um, it's got very shitty, but I deal with it. Suspension, tires are aftermarket. I got the cut, uh, the rear cut off and put on a LED strip on it. It's got the case speed Diablo full exhaust system, DNA filter, as well as the Power Commander 5 uh, new levers, not aftermarket because these are OEM uh, bar and mirrors. And I think that's about it that I've done to it. So, oh, also these really cool tank pads from Raw and Rugged Leather Co. Um, aside from that, I want to say it's pretty, it's pretty. I don't want to say it's pretty stock after that, but yeah, that's all I did to the bike and uh, I only have a few more things that I plan on doing to it to the future, but yeah, that's the bike. So let's start her up and go for a quick ride. All right, so clearly it is a lot louder than stock, but if you ask me, it definitely is not something that is too loud. But because it is a free-flowing exhaust system, you do need something to, you basically need a tune on the motorcycle, which I had with the Power Commander 5, uh, and yeah, all that stuff. So if you guys didn't know, I am in Corpus Christi, Texas, moved here back in December for work. And so while I'm no longer in living in Houston, I still go up there as much as I can and obviously to visit Iron Supply and KD so so yeah since I'm new to the area and uh, haven't met too many other motorcycles around here uh, feel free to hit me up if you're in the area and let's go for a ride all right so why I chose this motorcycle out of all the other motorcycles I could have chosen um, a little bit of backstory, so I decided to take the MSF course honestly off of a whim. I was sleeping one night and I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, damn, it'd be cool if I rode a motorcycle. Like, I never got on one before, never really thought of it, but something in me was like that one night I was just like, I want to learn how to ride a motorcycle. And it was at that point I was like, damn, okay, so do I wait until I am, you know, older, maybe in my 40s, have kids, mortgage, blah, 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 blah. Or do I just like learn how to do it now? Like, it's a big deal. So I went ahead and uh, basically decided from that day that I was gonna, I looked up how much it was to do the MSF course and I got it done through a Harley dealership, which was super easy, super fun, and that's where I led on to the question of what motorcycle should I get now? I'm gonna do a complete 180 right now. But yeah, so after the MSF course, I was really left with the question on what motorcycle do I get? And a lot of people were telling me, oh, okay, I should get like a 300 or um, a 650. And so I was, I wanted something that was reliable and something that was on the newer end just because I really didn't want to run into any issues when it came to reliability. And so I went ahead and sat on a few Hondas and even the R3 I sat on at the time. And I was like, okay, this is cool. 
and then I went the cruiser route and I saw like eh, I don't know I think I want a little bit something a little bit smaller not as big and bulky as a cruiser and so yeah that's when just like all you guys when you guys have a question you go to YouTube so I went to YouTube typed in what the best beginner bikes were and like I said it really recommended a lot of smaller displacement um, sports bikes and things like that which I was all for and I didn't mind but I, I, I still wanted something a little bit better especially since I sat on them and, and they didn't, you know I just wanted something more so anyway I came across this YouTube video by motorcycle magazine which I will put in the link above or link below or um, as a card in the video right now so as soon as I saw this video I was like oh this is sweet like this would be a great second motorcycle to have just because it's probably gonna cost a lot more and cool like, compared to all the other bikes I saw at the time so I went ahead and looked up what the price was and come to find out it's one of the cheapest bikes you can get brand new and was absolutely blown away not just how it looked but overall just how affordable it was and so <clears throat> after that I looked into how much it would be where I could find it and all those good stuff and come to find out there was actually a dealership not too far from where I lived at the time in New Jersey so swung a leg over it and before you know it I bought it and haven't looked back since so <laughs> That's uh, basically what made me choose that this bike and it was literally all because of that one video I saw where I basically thought it was too expensive for my own good and was completely mistaken and on top of it it had a three year unlimited mile warranty like you couldn't have sold me more than, <laughs> more than it honestly did so great job for that one video to make me purchase the Royal Enfield GT650 so yeah that's basically the backstory of why I chose this motorcycle out of any other motorcycle on the market and I honestly couldn't be more happy that I did it has been super reliable since I've since I've had it do I wish I had more power yes and I do plan on getting a sports bike because of because of that but by no means do I want to get rid of this motorcycle anytime soon and so I plan on getting another bike but definitely not getting rid of this one. Alright so that about does it with my, uh, my video for today. I wanted to keep it short, simple for you guys, and just talk about why I decided to purchase this motorcycle. And I'll have more videos like this coming up in the future where I talk about the bike, um, just things in general to do with riding or, you know, the situation of life itself. And yeah, if you guys have any questions down below, feel free to mark them down in the comments. and every comment gets a response and i really can't thank you guys enough for the continued support with the channel absolutely love you guys and looking forward to to the next video thank you guys ride safe